Hello, my name is Austin Baird. I'm with 3HTI. We're a platinum level PTC partner. And wherever your company may be in their digital transformation journey, we can assist you in leveraging PTC software in order to design and manufacture your products better and faster and with the traceability that's needed today. Uh, so in this video, we're gonna be looking at licensing for Creo and specifically you know, for a floating license. And slightly different than for, um, from a locked license. And there's some caveats here, but PTC has a updated licensing uh, portal, which is quite different than you know how it used to be for, for many years. And we're gonna be looking at this in regards to that new system. So we'll just go ahead and get started. Um, I have open, or we we'll, can start the the setup.exe for Creo Parametric. So if I was installing new software, um, I would click forward, and get to my my license identification screen, and this is where I would need to either need to provide um, a locked license file or point it to a floating license server. Um, we need to install that floating license server. And uh, well, and before that, even generate the license. So in the installer here, there's this field that says host ID. Um, this is the the MAC address that it's seeing for, for this computer. And in nine out of 10, 10 cases, you can just use this ID from the installer. Otherwise, there's other ways of finding it. But um, yeah, I need to generate the license and install the floating license server first. So let's go ahead and do that. So this is the, the license management uh, page. There's different ways of getting here. Uh, from the installer, there, there's actually a link. I don't have a license click here, which will go to the same page. Um, otherwise, from the ptc.com support homepage, under popular tasks, there's manage licenses right here. And yeah, this is the new license management uh, dashboard. And there's different areas to look at in here. Um, and actually, you know, a number of different ways of doing of accomplishing the same thing, just in general. I'll point out that there's this link here, license management guide, um, which you can refer to for sort of detailed instructions on any of these actions or areas. Um, so that's a resource that's available there. Uh, I'm just going to be covering what I think is like the easiest way to do this. And with this new license management website, the, the paradigm is to create a license host and then add licenses to that host. Once, that's, once that is done, you can retrieve the license file. Uh, so we need to create the host first. Uh, so we can either go into licensing hosts uh, or there's actually a link right here, add new licensing host. So that's what we're gonna do. Uh, this is a, a standard licensing host. And I'm gonna go ahead and input the, the MAC address. Um, this is what's used for, for Creo licensing, the MAC address. And licensing host name. Um, this could be a fully qualified host domain name or any sort of identifier. Um, doesn't matter too much what's in there. Just something to identify it in your list of licensing house. Uh, with that information input, we go ahead and click next. And we can actually go straight into assigning products to the licensing house, which is the next step. So let's go ahead and do that. And what's presented here will be actually all, every single license that's, that's available under the customer number. So usually we'll want to filter it down in some way. Um, we can filter down by, by product uh, or add additional filters based on in, any of these fields in the table. I'm gonna go ahead and filter based on this product package description to look for the, the license that I want, this floating 
Creo Design Essentials. And for Creo Design Essentials, which is you know the most common license type, there's actually three components that make it make it up: the Creo Design Essentials, Creo Simulation Essentials, and then Creo Schematics Light. So with those selected, um, I will go ahead and click next. So I've selected what the licenses that I want to install on this host. Uh, now I need to do the quantity. In most cases, um, it's the easiest to do autofill the same quantity. Uh, otherwise, you could get more granular for each individual line, or there's full quantity. Um, that's the easiest way to do it there. And go ahead and click next. So I've created my host, I've assigned the licenses to the host, and now um, since I just assigned these licenses, it's given me a link to retrieve the license file. And from this page, there's, there's download. And it gives me a zip file. And in this zip file, there's an Excel sheet with, uh, you know, detailing what's, what's in this license. And then, uh, the actual license file itself. Just go ahead and extract the license file. And just to point this out, because this is a common problem that we see where um, users can get stuck is, I have the a floating license file, right? And this is the Creo parametric installer if I provide it with the floating license file, it's actually going to give me an error. So let's see that. Yeah, so it says not suitable. And if we read these instructions before, um, you know, it says that an, an existing license server address or a path to a node lock license file. And if I hover over this, it gives me further details. The license file you supplied is a server license file. Basically, it has floating license features within it. Um, if you want to use this license file to install the license server, use install license server.exe. So I'm using the you know Creo installation media. We can see this additional executable that's within here. So basically we need to run this first to install the license server first, and then we could you know, move forward with installing Creo. And then also worth pointing out, um, in the case of you know installing the floating license server, say on an actual server where multiple users would be able to, to access those licenses, there's a standalone installer for this uh, FlexNet floating license server. That's available from the software downloads page. So download software, additional downloadable software updates. And there's this link here, PTC license server FlexNet publisher. And within the PDF is the actual link. So this link here will download the standalone installer package for, for the P PTC FlexNet license server. I'll just go to this one, demonstrate, but yeah, so that's a standalone installer package that I could take to my server to install the FlexNet server there. Uh, for now, I'll just continue forward here. So I've got, to I've got to close the normal setup.exe and from my real installation media, I actually run this install license server.exe. Right. Now we can see it says install license server. And on this page, I can provide it the floating license. And I don't have to move it to any special folder like I would normally want to if it's a locked license because it actually will take this license file and transform it and place it 
you know, in the directory that is actually installing this too. So if it's functioning properly, it'll update like this, installing license server. If it grays out or stops in any way, um, you know, there might be some troubleshooting to do. Here it's proceeding. Right, and this is uh, what you would want to see. If it's successful, it'll say source 7788, which is the default port at the host name of your computer and a bit status available. And now with that installed, if I needed to install Creo, I could go ahead and run that setup.exe, install new software, go to my license page, and you know, should auto populate in you know 99% of the time. But yeah, that's installing a floating license. Um I'll point out you know, where this installed to. It installs to C, C drive, program files, PTC, FlexNet admin license server. In the licensing folder is the actual license file that it's going to be reading from, this license.dat. And in the bin directory, there's a reconfigure. So I could set it up with an updated license. Um, there's also this PTC status, which is useful for determining, you know, if it's running properly, you know, this looks good to me. This is what I would expect to see. So, yeah, that's pretty much it here. Um, again, with the updated licensing portal, we need to create the license host and then add the license to that host. And from there, I'm able to retrieve the license file with that license file. I install the FlexNet server, either with the install license server.exe or with the standalone FlexNet LM admin package, the one here. And after that floating license server is installed, I can specify the floating server using 7788 and the name of the, the machine. All right, so I hope that was helpful. Um, if you have any additional questions, please feel free to reach out. Uh, again, my name is Austin Baird with 3HTI, and thanks so much.